Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. So, work continues on this uh, Gottlieb System 80B Raven machine. Uh, if you were watching the previous video, one of the problems was uh, some of the lights on the rollers, the overhead uh, things were, the rollovers were staying on. They weren't pulsing. So we looked in the schematics and we isolated it to four particular lights that were coming from one particular integrated circuit. <clears throat> so since all four lights are out, have a common thing they're going through, I'm going to show you how we can probe this integrated circuit to see if it's behaving as it should. So this is Z3. This is a picture of the driver board and Z3 is right there. And if we look up in the machine, it's actually turned sideways. So let me take this and rotate it like that. And we can see that uh, the second um, chip here <coughs> is Z3 from the bottom. And there's Z1, Z2, and Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4, Z5. So this is Z3 and Z5. Now, <clears throat> Z1 does some other stuff like game over relay and tilt relay, but the other, but the, some of these others are all part of the light system. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how we can hook up a logic probe, and we can sense the signals coming in and out. So here's the way this thing works. Let me go down here and we'll zoom in on this. So we've got signals coming in on these four pins, 4, 5, 12, and 13. <clears throat> each one corresponding to one of the lights. There's three rollovers and there's one other light. And then this thing does its magic. It kind of flips and flops. Uh, it's a binary kind of thing. And it outputs a signal to these four pins, which in turn drive these transistors, which turn on the lights. So when you're looking at these, there's either a high or a low state. Since this is a, <clears throat> I think, a 74 series chip, it's running on what's called TTL. So that means it's running on plus 5 volts. So we will switch the logic probe to TTL versus CMOS. That's another type of voltage variance. Um, and so what we're going to be lo looking for is on and off signals, which are basically nominal vol voltage, very little, or somewhere around 5 volts. So um, a high would be closer to the 5 volts coming out, and a low would be closer to 0. <clears throat> so when... A pulse, is, a signal is sent through here, it's supposed to uh, correspond over here. Now, um, so when, this, when these go high, the lights should be on. When these signal high or low, the lights coming, signal out of here should be low too. So we want to we confirm that the signals going into pin 4 match what's going out of pin 2 and 5 and 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw the game turn the game on, we're going to put it in attract mode, and we're going, to, we're going to look at what signals we're getting on the inputs and the outputs of these pins. Then we will compare them to a nearby chip that is performing the same function, because these lights are malfunctioning, these are not. So let's, uh, let's hook the probe up, and let me show you, right here I did, a little, I did a little drawing, I'm getting kind of fancy here now with some little illustrations. So this is a drawing of the chip. <clears throat> And you can see where the pins are numbered. From the notch, pin 1 is the left, and it goes down counterclockwise, back up to 16. So this is a 16-pin chip. And I've marked here, pin 1 is our plus 5 voltage, also pin 16, these top two pins. The bottom two pins are our ground pins. Um, eight, pin 8 is the primary ground. Pin 9 is another one that goes to a capacitor. And so... You see the outputs are on pin 2, 15, 7, and 10. So with this diagram, I can look at the chip. Now, it's going to be oriented this way when, um, when I'm messing with it in the probe because it's in circuit. So our inputs are going to be these four pins in the middle, and the outputs are going to be these ones on the out. Nice kind of symmetrical thing. So I will mess with these with the logic probe, and I will test each of the ins and each of the outs, and we'll see what kind of signal we're getting. All right, so first things, let's hook up the logic probe. <clears throat> so there's the back of our back box. I've got the ground on the logic probe hooked to the ground of the 5 volt power supply. The ground of the, the 
where the positive thing, I'm going to hook this up, <clears throat> and I've already tested it with the meter, that I've got 5 volts right here at the end of this um, diode. And uh, it's actually a little bit less than 5 volts, it's like 4.7, 4.8. So that could be another problem with some connectors. But I don't think that's what's causing our problem right now. Um, so there we have, so now the logic probe is connected. So we're going to zero in on Z3. Okay, so that is <clears throat> this chip right here. So, here's our logic probe. So we know we've got a voltage right here, um, and then the pin 2 is going to be, I'm going to orient it so I can see it. Okay. I'm going to look at the little sheet. Okay. So we've got voltage, and, uh, and then pin 2 is an output. Nothing used for pin three and four and five are inputs. So <clears throat> let's fire the game up. Got the probe set up, and uh, let's see what we get. I'm gonna back off just a little bit so you can see the probe. Okay. So turn the game on. So now I could put the game into light test mode. But uh, diagnostic mode is based, when, it's, when the game's sitting at idle, it's almost the same thing because basically it's, if you look down here, you can see it's blinking, it's blinking all the lights. You see they're all blinking. Beep, 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 beep. It's pretty fast, it's a pretty fast beep. But you can see <clears throat> there's a few little, like the, the chasers over there are, are, are doing it a different sequence. But all the lights are blinking on and off except for those ones at the top. See them right there? They're on all the time. Those are the culprit. All right, so let's go back here and let's take a look at this and see what the situation is. So <clears throat> with the logic probe, let's, uh, let's first hit five volts over here and see. Okay, so that's, a, that's, that's an indication of a high signal. See, a low signal would be a, a, a lower thing. So let's... Uh, Oh, let me hit the ground. See, that's a lower, and this is a higher. Okay, so you can, you can tell the difference in the pulses. Okay, so let's check uh, the inputs. That's 4 and 5 and 12 and 13. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do the ones on the bottom. So pin 16 is going to be, that's our high. Nothing on 17 or 15 and a 14. 14 is not used. Let's go to 13. Okay, so there is our pulse. That's pin 13, in and out. Let's go to pin 12. Another pin. So those are our pulses. We can see that it's it's going back and forth. Now let's check the other side, pins 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3. There's our pulse on 4. There's our pulse on 5. Okay, so now let's check the outputs. That's pin two. Pin two is high, just all the time. See that? Let's go to pin seven. That's high all the time too. Now for comparison, let's check the chip right above it. That's also running some lights. We can check the same pin configuration. So let's check pin four and five. One, two, three, four, there's our signal. Five, there's our signal. Now let's check the outputs on that pin. Let's look at pin two. Output two is on. Let's check output seven. So that's pulsing. You see, it's doing different things. So that chip is working okay. I don't know what pin two, what light pin two is, but it's always on. So let, let's try. Um, let's try. Let's go one above too. And we'll check uh, pin two on that. There we go. See, that's pulsing on, off, on, off. Those are the outputs. And here, pulsing two. But on Z3, wait, that's, Z, that's Z5. Let's go to Z3. On all the time, 
on all the time. So we know they're not supposed to be. Let me hit the other one on the bottom. On, on. But the middle, those middle two pins were getting signal. So what we've learned here is that chip is definitely malfunctioning. <clears throat> it's not pulsing in relation output to what should be in the input. So that is probably our culprit, this Z3 right there, that chip. So I will basically be desoldering that um, integrated circuit off of the chip, putting a socket in and replacing it. And uh, hopefully that will, will solve our problem. Um, that's it. I'm going to shut the game off right now. So there's a good little intro into using a logic probe to test inputs and outputs. Of course, when you're comparing it to the other chips, you want to look in the schematics and make sure that you're comparing it. Because obviously, some of those outputs were, were on, but they were, but they were related to something that wasn't actually in the um, mode. Now, normally, you might want to just put it in a track mode and, and flash them all. But my, my actually the diagnostic button is messed up in this game, so I'm going to have to fix that. That's another thing to fix. So just churning my way through the game. So there you have it. Uh, we've kind of figured out that, it, that we're, there's definitely a problem with that particular chip. So 